Hi guys, my name is Sean, exercise physiologist and personal trainer from Momentum Active Remedy. I'm going to show you exercises and stretches to make sure that you can feel better when you sit down or especially if you have a seated roll. Now it's not a coincidence that if you sit down for too long that you have back pain and also neck pain. And for the last 10 years, being an exercise consultant, I see this happen a lot with people who sit down for far too long. So today, let's help you out with some stretches and some exercises that you can do while seated down or near your office desk to make sure we can relieve the pain in your shoulders, neck, and also hip. But let's address the problems that you might have if you're seated for far too long. The first one we'll address is the upper body, which we can call upper cross syndrome. This affects the neck, shoulders, and also the chest muscles. The lower body, we call lower cross syndrome, and this affects usually the abdominals, the glutes, hamstrings, and also the hip flexors. So let's move on to first, the upper body. So upper cross syndrome looks into tight muscles in the chest, and also weak muscles in the neck flexors, and also weak muscles in your lower traps, as well as your back muscles. So the exercises that we're gonna show you today, first of all, is the wall slide. What we'd like to do is make sure we can have your head in contact with the wall as well as your shoulders too. With your hands by your sides, we want to try and slide all the way up. This is kind of like a snow angel, but on the wall. From here, we can also go into our chest stretches. This one here can be done on your desk, nice and easy and inconspicuous. Imagine how many times you can stretch out your chest while reading emails or talking to the person right next to you. This is simply done with no effort at all. Now the last exercise is the chin tuck. The chin tuck can be done while driving at a traffic light, I have to say, and also done at your desk if done appropriately. Now stretching is great and it's going to give you temporary relief. But to make sure that we can make this not happen over and over again is to also strengthen the muscles opposing. So if you want to know about strengthening exercises, I want you to click over here. I want you to watch this video that I've made before to help you address the exercises that you can do in the gym to help you strengthen these muscles. So I'm not sure about you, but as I get older, I've been spending more and more time on the desk to help make good content on the computer or also making programs for my clients. And this has actually got me more tight across my upper body as well as my lower body because I'm spending more time on my desk. So maybe this is happening to you. Comment down below and let me know, have you been sitting down more often than you usually have in the past? Now the second exercise that we're gonna give you is going to be addressing lower cross syndrome or the lower body. So the first exercise that we're gonna show you is when you have tight hip flexors. And the hip flexor muscle is just towards the front, towards the hip, and also it could give you some knee pain depending on how tight this muscle is. The stretch is relatively simple and all we're going to do is try and grab your ankle and bring your heel towards your bum. If you want to get a deeper stretch, squeeze your bum forward and push it forward while also trying to push your knee towards the floor in a straight line. Be careful not to just hyperextend your lower back. We want to make sure we're focusing on the quads and also specifically that tight hip flexor. Now we do want to do some exercises to actually contribute to the hips and this is where we're going to do the pelvic tilt. When it comes to tight hip flexors and also tight lower body muscles with lower back pain, we also want to make sure that we can contribute to moving in the right direction as well. And this is where the pelvic tilt really helps you. Being able to tilt that hip forwards helps you relieve pressure off your lower back. Now for those of you who like to save time, there is a way to be able to stretch out and also tilt at the same time. And we're gonna show you this stretch. Have your feet one foot in front of the other like you would in a lunge, tilt your pelvis, and with the same arm, that is with the foot going backwards, raise it above your head and reach over. This way you can actually stretch your hip flexor as well as the psoas and also help you with tilting the pelvis. That's all three things at once. Now, just exactly the same thing that we mentioned about upper cross syndrome, it's also about strengthening the opposing muscles of your lower body. So make sure you incorporate exercises like hip thrusts into your program. And if you need more content on that, click on this video over here. 
So the exercises that I've actually shown you today aren't difficult. The hardest thing would be to find time. So what I highly recommend is maybe set an alarm on your phone to be able to do these stretches every two hours or every three hours to help you balance out your body. Now, if you already regularly go to the gym, do these exercises also at the gym and make sure you do this at the start or at the end, especially if you're frequent but need more direction to help you with something that you're doing outside of the gym. It's all about routine. Thanks again for watching this video from Momentum. And if you wanna help us build momentum across everyone's lives, across the whole world, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe this video to anyone who might be sitting down for too long. Peace.